Mikhail Jean PCCCCMMCOM CDFRCPSC is a Canadian stateswoman and former journalist who is the third and current Secretary General of the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. After succeeding Abdo Duf in January 2015, she is the first woman to hold the position. From 2005 to 2010, Jean was Governor-General of Canada, the 27th since Canadian Confederation. Jean was a refugee from Haiti, coming to Canada in 1968, and was raised in the town of Thetford Mines, Quebec. After receiving a number of university degrees, Jean worked as a journalist and broadcaster for Radio Canada and the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, as well as undertaking charity work, mostly in the field of assisting victims of domestic violence. In 2005, she was appointed Governor-General by Queen Elizabeth II, on the recommendation of Prime Minister Paul Martin, to replace Adrienne Clarkson as Vice Reiner and she occupied the post until succeeded by David Johnston in 2010. Early in her tenure, comments of hers recorded in some of the film works by her husband, Jean-Daniel Lafond, were construed as supporting Quebec sovereignty and her holding of dual citizenship caused out about her loyalties. But Jean denied separatist leanings, renounced her citizenship of France, and eventually became a respected vice Reiner noted for her attention to the Canadian forces, Aboriginal Canadians, and the arts especially youth involvement in him. Jean is also currently the special envoy for Haiti for the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization and Chancellor of the University of Ottawa. Mikhail Jean was sworn in as a member of the Queen's Privy Council for Canada on September 26, 2012, giving her the accordant style of the Honourable. However, as a former Governor-General of Canada, Jean is entitled to be styled for life with the superior form of the right honourable. Early life and education Jean's family hails from Haiti. She was born in Port-au-Prince, baptised at the Holy Trinity Cathedral, and spent winters in that city and summers and weekends in Jackmeal, her mother's hometown. Though her father worked as principal and teacher for an elite Protestant private school in Port-au-Prince, Jean was educated at home, as her parents did not want her swearing allegiance to the then Haitian president, François Duvalier as all Haitian schoolchildren were required to do. With her family, Jean fled Haiti to escape Duvalier's regime, under which Jean's father was arrested and tortured in 1965. Jean's father left for Canada in 1967 and Jean, her mother, and sister, arrived the following year. The family settled together at Thetford Mines, Quebec. Jean's father, however, became increasingly distant and violent, and her parents' marriage eventually fell apart. She, with her mother and sister, then moved to a basement apartment in the Little Burgundy neighborhood of Montreal. Jean received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Italian and Hispanic languages and literature from the University of Montreal, and, from 1984 to 1986, taught Italian studies there, while completing her Master of Arts degree in comparative literature. Besides French and English, Jean is fluent in Spanish, Italian, and Haitian Creole, and can read Portuguese. Concurrent with her studies between 1979 and 1987, Jean coordinated a study on spousal abuse and worked at a women's shelter, which paved the way for her establishment of a network of shelters for women and children across Canada. She also involved herself in organizations dedicated to assisting immigrants to Canada obtain the entry they desired, and later worked for Employment and Immigration Canada and at the Conseil des Communautés Culturales du Québec, where Jean began writing about the experiences of immigrant women. She married French-born, Canadian filmmaker Jean-Daniel Lafond, and the couple adopted as their daughter, Marie Eden, an orphan child from Jack Meal, journalism, broadcasting, and film careers. Jean became a reporter, filmmaker, and broadcaster for Radio Canada in 1988, hosting news and affairs programs such as Actual, Montreal C.E. Soir, 
Virages, and La Pointe. She was the first person of Caribbean descent to be seen on French television news in Canada. She then moved in 1995 to REACUTE SEAU de l'Information, Radio Canada's all news channel, in order to anchor a number of programs Le Monde C. Soir. L. Edition Quebecois, Horizons Francophones, Les Grands Reportages, Le Journal RDI, and RDI Lecoute, for example. Four years later, she was asked by CBC's English language all news channel, CBC News World, to host the passionate High and Rough Cuts which both broadcast the best in Canadian and foreign documentary films. By 2004, Jean was hosting her own show, Mikhail, while continuing to anchor RDI's Grand Reportages, as well as acting occasionally as anchor of Le Théa Journal. Over the same period, Jean made several films with her husband, including the award-winning Haiti Dan's Taos Nose Reeves, in which she meets her uncle. The poet and essayist René Depistre, who fled from the Duvalier dictatorship into exile in France and wrote about his dreams for Haiti, and tells him Haiti awaits his return. She similarly produced and hosted news and documentary programming for television on both the English and French services of the CBC.